Welcome to Draw Studio. Today we're going to do more planar construction on complex forms. Let's get started. We'll start with something organic like this pair. When you're drawing from observation, you can hold your pencil up as a straight edge to help you visualize the curved surface as straight lines. This will help you simplify the outer contour. Now that I have the outer contour as only straight lines, I need to bring lines across from the vertices to define the volume inside the pair. I'm breaking the inside of the pair down into three simple planes. Remember to start as simple as you can, and you can always make it more complex later. Now I need to connect all of these vertices together to create the planes. And I can do the same on the other side. Now we need to break down the stem into planes, and to finish it off, divide up the top plane of the pair into a series of three-sided planes. Now let's look at our planar pair, and see how we did. All of our planes are either four or three sided, but there's a problem with one of our vertices. This vertex ends on a straight line, not at the point of another vertex. This is not ideal, and planes will work best if every vertex meets another vertex. To fix it, I simply need to add a plane change here, so there will be another vertice for this plane to meet correctly. We can also adjust any other planes that don't look right. These bottom vertices feel like they need to move a little to better capture the volume of the pair. Planar drawing needs to be flexible and happen in stages. You are translating something complex into something simple, so you may need to make adjustments as you go. Now let's do a pencil sketch of a more complex object like this shoe. A shoe might not be the most exciting object, but it actually poses a great challenge for planar drawing. To begin, I will do a very basic sketch called a gesture. A gesture is a simple, quick drawing to get the ball rolling and to give you something to build on. Then begin to straighten out the lines into planes. I find starting with the outside edge helps. As you create the lines, start to connect the vertices together to make planes. Use X lines and isometric perspective and ghosting to keep the shoe looking solid. And you can draw right through planes to make sure the vertices connect and space correctly. Make adjustments as you go, but try to capture the basic form of the shoe first. I wanted to create more roundness on the top, so I added another set of planes. This means I have to account for each line and vertice as it changes. Then begin to add more planes by creating new vertices that you connect together. Adding more planes will make the shoe look more interesting and realistic. It can be a challenging exercise, so don't get frustrated if you struggle. I continue to add planes and build complexity. There is not one correct answer in how you analyze your planar object. There are many solutions to the problem, and the drawing will evolve as you work. I keep moving around the drawing, working on it as a whole. The longer I work, the better my observations get, and I always want to see the big picture. I use X lines to track these points across to create symmetry and draw the inside of the shoe. I notice the perspective on the front of the shoe is off. So I use ghosting and X-Lines to try to correct it. I am constantly looking at my drawing and trying to fix mistakes. The more you look, the more you see, and your perception will improve over time. There is no time limit when you're working. The goal is to improve, and that will take as much time as it takes. Try this exercise on your own. Start with something simple and work your way to more complex objects. And remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, 
like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.